Right, we need to solve for x uh, in this case, uh, given uh, the equation, the tangent of x over sine x plus 3 over sine x minus 2 tan x equals 6, and we write down the solution to the problem, and we first write down the tangent of x over the trigonometric sine of x plus 3 over the, the sine of x minus to the tangent of x equals 6. The next thing we write down is uh, this, uh, the tangent of x over the sine of x plus uh, 3 over the, the sine of x minus 2, the tangent of x minus 6 equals 0. Okay, what we've done is we've just transposed the 6 from the right hand side of the equation to the left hand side of the equation, uh, like as shown there. Okay, the next thing uh, that we are going to do uh, is as follows. Right, so we have uh, the tangent of x over the sine of x plus 3 over the sine of x minus 2 the tangent of x minus 6 equals 0. Right, the next thing we do is we take the lowest common denominator and we have the tangent of x plus 3 minus 2 the tangent of x the sine of x minus 6 the sine of x and you divide these by the sine of x, and this equals zero. So what have we done here? What we did here was just to actually take the lowest common denominator. Okay, and this is what we got. Um, right, upon further cross-multiplication, what do we achieve? So we have uh, the tangent of x plus uh, 3 minus 2 the tangent of x, the sine of x minus 6, the sine of x equals 0, okay? Then what do we do from here? We factorize this equation, right? We factorize this trigonometric, trigonometric equation by writing down the tangent of x plus 3, and we have 1 minus 2, the sine of x, like this. And this means that the tangent of x is minus 3, or it means that the trigonometric sine of x is 1 half, as shown there. Okay. Now, this is what we have. But as we are solving this, uh, something very important is uh, the notion of what you call the restrictions. There are certain restrictions. What are the restrictions? The sine of x cannot be zero, because if it's zero, then we have division by zero. Also here, this is the tangent of x, which has cosine x in the denominator, which means the cosine also should not be zero. Otherwise, the identity is, uh, this particular equation is undefined. And uh, now if the sign is not zero, it means that x is not um, a multiple of 180 degrees times k. When the cosine is not zero, it means that x is not uh, equal to 90 degrees times uh, 2k plus 1, where k is an element of the set of integers. Okay, so those are the sort sort of restrictions that we need to sort of bear in mind because uh, when we're solving uh, rational functions, these become extremely important for us to sort of take note of. So let's just uh, take note of these here. Okay, so we have noted the restrictions. So what do we do right now? So we proceed to get the um, the solutions to these by finding the reference angles. 
The reference angle is arc tangent of three. And here the reference angle is arc sine one half. So arc sine one half is 30 degrees, but here we have arc the tangent of three, which is 71.56505 degrees, like so. Right, so we proceed to then say, the tangent of x is minus three, or the trigonometric sine of x is one half with the reference angle here being 71.56505 degrees. Here, the reference angle is 30 degrees. Okay, so what do we do? Okay, now, in view of the cast diagram, we know a couple of things. Um, we know that the tangent is negative in the second quadrant, but it's also negative in, in the fourth quadrant. Okay, here we know that according to the cast diagram, okay, the sign is positive in the first and the second quadrants. Right, so here we shall get uh, solutions to this. So the solution, an angle that is here will be the negative of this. Right, so which means that x is minus 71.56505 degrees. Okay, like so. So that is 05 degrees. Right, plus 180 degrees times k, where k is an element of the set of integers. So in other words, we have found a solution that is in the fourth quadrant. But we also have another um, solution that is gonna be, that is an angle that is sits here in the, in the second quadrant, but that is gonna be 180 minus 70, 1, uh, 0.5605 but it's already taken care of. So this solution takes care of those uh, particular two um, solutions in the quadrants. So we come to this part here. And then here we have x equals, so in the first quadrant here, this angle is 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees plus 360 degrees times k, where k is an element of z. Okay, so we have another one here, which is 180 degrees minus 30 degrees plus 360 degrees times k, where k is an element of z. So which means here we have 150 degrees, which is an angle in the second quadrant plus 360 degrees times k, where k is an element of z. So what are the solutions to these? So the solutions to this is the 71 point five six zero five plus 180 degrees by K. And the other one is this one. And the other one is this, okay? So we've already solved this particular question in detail. And thanks everybody for joining us and goodbye to you. So this solution we've got to mention is sort of the general is called the general solution to the trigonometric equation. General solution because it is in terms of um, um, the k, okay, um, which is an integer in each case. So yeah, thanks everybody and goodbye to you.